Okay, I hope everyone who is starting this on YouTube later. This is the second half of the, our stream today. We finished up early with uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, which we expected to not last too long, but it's still got in a thir about 35 minutes, which is respectable. And definitely means we shouldn't have continued last time to try and rush to the ending, because it would have gone way over time for us. Yeah, it would have hit three yeah. hours about. <clears throat> okay. So for now, we will be moving on. What? Well, uh, and <laughs> I'll be your Captain Helian, along with. Hey, so mighty Drakir at your service. A long wait for get for Captain. <laughs> okay, let's get started on our backup game. But for that, I'll also have to change up one of our sources here. So just need to take it a second. There we go. We still at me? No. And oh. I've of course, I forgot. Uh, I need to put the game into windowed mode still. Uh, up, there we go. I will go the... to Gary the Diver. <laughs> no. Bill the uh, Diver. No, no wrong one. <laughs> there we go. And that, that has messed up my icons, of course. Okay. Blinding oh, me. <laughs> Give me a second to change the title, and then... Uh, right. Welcome to Pizza Lover the Diver. <laughs> no. All right. Welcome to Dave the Diver. Uh, there. And there. That won't do too much, but okay. And it does mean that I'll have to clean up my icons again. Yeah, I, I should have remembered to uh, actually put the game in windowed mode beforehand. So my bad on that. It's actually keep my... Oh, come on. Unselect there. Okay, now Drakia won't have that annoying red box over everything. And yeah, I, I actually know practically nothing about this game other than that, well, you play as a diver. Uh, during one part of the game, and as a sushi chef or sushi restaurant something um, during another part of it, with the fish that you dive up in the first part, and there's some mystery going on. So, yep, yeah, let's okay, get started. Definitely uh, misheard you. Uh, I would just say survivor, not diver. <laughs> Well, technically, if you go underwater and get back up, you are a survivor. <laughs> Little hermit crab. Sushi. No. Uh, well made sushi is really worth it, but uh, store bought sushi is probably going to be more of a disappointment. Yeah, uh, it's remind me of something I learned today. That was about a while ago. There are crab species that does not use shells, but they use something else. Oh. No. Yellowfish. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding, I saw it. A crab came out a yellowfish and attached it to his back. <laughs> a, a jelly crab. <laughs> yeah, I guess they are, must be immune to the stingers. They have parapets, so yeah. Yeah. They have armor, but they do use the jellyfish to get off the other things that are probably nobody big enough to kill a crab. Yeah, Dan just oh, enjoying back. a root beer. Yeah, welcome back, pizza lover. Oops. Zero thousand. Zero thousand. What? It just welcome back, pizza. <laughs> and I, I like this intro so far. Yeah. It's nice with the pixel art and such. Sometimes, something with pixel art that happens a lot is that people try to over-detail things or just make or make things too oh. simple. 
But this is a good uh, middle point. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's oh. not just this. <laughs> what? <laughs> People usually avoid diving into those. Uh, yeah, there, there are some spots in the ocean where you really do not want to dive because there's uh, just the diff there's a, just a, in some of those deep blue hole things. I forget their actual names, but you just said the names. Yeah, uh, I call that deep blue holes. Okay, uh, yeah, they're typ It's typically a bit. No, it's always a bad idea to dive in those because for some reason I forget the specifics. Uh, those things are filled with extremely salty water, which makes it more like sludge than water. So anything that goes in is unlikely to come out. But I'm doubting that this is as similar to that. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. we'd be them, very bad idea. Some of them are actually just very deep, but they help so deep and something about them that have made exploring them extremely difficult to actually just outright impossible currently. Okay. Let's see. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means <laughs> this could be an incredible business opportunity. Yeah. And you're Cobra, okay? What kind of business? Oh, yeah. Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? Oh. I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Oh, yeah. mm, I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Let's see. A sushi bar by the blue hole. Okay. I see the bar. Okay. And in we go. Oh, Moray eel. Dinner. As a... <laughs> oh, I see Dory's. <laughs> nice for him. <laughs> All right. How about trying... Uh, how about... You know, try stretching out a bit. Try moving to the marked area. With right trigger, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to try and avoid doing that for now. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. That's gonna, that's not practice using the weapon you'll be you know, you'll need in contingencies. The dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. Use the B button. Okay. They're not going to catch many fish <laughs> at this speed. Well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. You aim first and then. Hmm. Looks like you need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with A and fire with right trigger. Now try it yourself. Okay. Okay, with A we pull it out. There we go. Get here, Dory. Found you. Yellow Tang and... Yep. Come back here, Nemo. Okay, it takes a second to pull it out. There we go. Now for <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I think that should get you back on, tr uh, on track in no time. Okay. All right, come back up to the boat. I thought you just make a blame Nemo, yo, but no, you had a reason to do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I found Nemo and Dory. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure. That soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Uh, well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper. But he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. 
The sushi sold here is made from fresh, uh, fresh fish caught in the, bing, uh, in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Yeah, so it's the all blue from One Piece that Sanji is looking for. I don't actually know if they actually ever found that in the manga or anime. <laughs> I, haven't read, I haven't watched it in ages. I forgot he was after that. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? <laughs> Yum, I'm already craving it. I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? <laughs> so I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. I have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the Blue Hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> okay. I just eat the sushi once. I think I told you this before. It was good. Until... I bit into the paprika. Okay. They had a paprika in the center I was unaware of and... It ruined it for me. I thought, all right, rice and this fish is good. And paprika overtook every flavor. I could not taste anything else beside the paprika. Okay. Yep. yep heading out. Yep, Notice 68. For me all. I don't like paprika. <laughs> Hey, Bancho, are you? Are we all? Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished. You? Ah, oh, you are the fisherman, uh, fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is uh, how empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. <laughs> Someone's uh, really into their work. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Oop. Uh, Mother Nature is a oh the douse are some big waves back there. It's raining beer. Uh. Well, <laughs> no, the sign says closed. Uh, an earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You, you know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. I'll bl blame the jackass who caught, who sent us back with just three fish. <clears throat> oh dear. Yeah, lucky there was no tsunami after that, or this place would have been washed away immediately. Please go and catch seven more for, uh, more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm. Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. And yeah, he does need to sleep as well. So, uh... Yeah. It seems Bancho is really passionate about his work. Definitely. They may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. Uh, what incident? It's nice to see him like this. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. 
Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Uh, hmm. By the way, since you said some uh, sorry, something else I saw today, it was one of those Trial to Love videos. And apparently some kid was in doing a baseball and was ready to catch a ball. You know, one of those that have the big uh, dog suit protection. Yeah. That's supposed to catch the ball. As they went to catch the ball, something happened. Oh? A toss twister formed around him. <laughs> okay. So the adult had to pick him up and carry him out from it. There we go. Oh, I've gotten trapped here. But yeah, this should be pretty interesting. Just Wait. catch fish and then work the restaurant somehow. I just remember. You can't eat clownfish, can you? Um... Maybe if you prepare them in a certain way. Like there, there's uh, those uh, puffer fish that you definitely can't eat unless prepared in a special way. Because then they are poisonous. That was just a bare miss. Yeah, you need a professional to do it. Yeah. Like, license and all. Which I'm pretty sure Boncho likely is. There we go, let's catch a little bit more. Wait, wait. is that incident? What if he messed up? For that's one way to lose the license. Yeah. There. I'm just going to catch a few more fish, but... I would be interested in knowing how sushi made with certain fish would taste. Like the standards yeah, are typically they... tuna and salmon. As long as there are more edible fish, I'm fine for. I think bluefish has been more, more outlawed in most countries due to the damn risk. And of course, people get to get a chef that is skilled enough to do it. Yeah. I need to not get too close or they'll scatter. They don't seem to react to the spear itself. Yep, just missed. Yep, just out of range. Okay, let's call it on that. We got enough fish. <clears throat> yep, return to the boat. Hmm. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Tape. Okay. Uh, dive log. Biggest fish is yellow tang of 20 centimeters. 17 caught in two minutes. And the maximum depth of 23 meters. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Yep. Wrap up your day and bring... Uh, by the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hour starts. Okay. So there are three time spaces. <clears throat> the last of which is always going to be the restaurant. Out of preparations coming along. I think we're almost we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody uh, to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do was cook. And who else is here is there for that but you? If <laughs> Cobra screwed us on this. Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? <laughs> Open the ingredients below. Okay. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Can I grab a drink? Okay. Let's see, we've got a 16 uh, clownfish. 
All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. Okay. It's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Okay. Clownfish. Let's see. Sushi made with clownfish. Orange stripe looks so tasty. Uh, not supposed to. I don't think you're supposed to put the fish on it raw. Like, I know sushi is mostly raw fish and rice, but not that raw. All right, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Larry and Pete, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Let's see. We I had raw. Yeah, that, just look at this. I'm pretty, like I said, sushi may be mostly raw fish, but not this raw. It is okay. raw. <laughs> Pyramid butterfly fish sushi. Okay, let's put those oh on there. And sea goldie. Okay. Wait, what? Do you hmm? say seagull? Yes, nay, sea goldie. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes. I'm pretty sure people wouldn't be uh, wanting seagull sushi. Oh. I don't think people would want seagull anything. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm. Have you, have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, <laughs> only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Okay. Ah. Sometimes uh -oh. customer will order drinks to pour uh, green tea the just amount. Oop. Uh, good enough. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. As expected, Bancha's green tea is quite something. Hmm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? I'm guessing he's just playing along for this. Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Okay, wait until cooking is done. So they get orders, he makes the orders, and we have to move them over. Come over to where I'm a, I am and take his food. Nope. You can dash when serving food. Use left trigger to move, quickly move. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Okay. Hello. You sent a package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Nope. Well, free sushi for that. Robert didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Banjo Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice, which is it's also illegal to do that since, well, the possibility of the contamination and such. Yeah, yeah. And there has been restaurants who had done that. Because you probably have been seen in Golden Ramsing clips. Definitely. I, I've been to... Uh, actually, my family and I once went to a Burger King. And uh, yeah, they had those reheating things where it was pretty clear to us that the food it was just make, was being grilled and then just put under a heat lamp uh, to just be cooked again. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah, we, we don't go to Burger King <laughs> anymore or never actually did, I think. Actually, I've I've gone to some Burger Kings during uh, whilst I was at one of my schools. There was one nearby, but I mostly just got chicken, I believe. Oh dear. It's well, all right. Okay, we just trash it with beam. Everything looks about ready. Hmm. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. Okay. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Okay. With the trigger, with the shoulders, we get through this. 
I think this is probably why I would not really like working restaurant in some way, since th this is actually a thing people are hoping up that it's good that they don't serve reduced food. But probably is also that men's restaurant waste a lot of food as well. Yeah. And was that a whale in the background? Okay. Was it Here we dick? go. <laughs> and now we're open. Okay. Why did it... Okay, it kept pouring even though I lowered... It moved already. Okay. Buncher is making... Okay, he has... Uh, that. Okay. Oh, he's quite quick. Uh, you, man at the back. Or no, lady at the back. Okay, need to watch that stamina. Okay, it refills pretty quickly. Okay. Let's see, what is that thing on the sides? There. You won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. Okay. Okay. I believe you came in first. There. The stamina is a little bit hard to see when it goes in its lower end. And yeah, I'm liking the music so far as well, Pizza. Yeah. Close to the day. It's a bit of good music. Okay, our best sale so far. Oh, you earned, earned Artisan's Flame. Okay. Oh, it was Flame. I was saying, what? You <laughs> mean Artisan's Flame? Uh, no, it, it does sound Flame. What? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's... Uh, uh, I'm guessing it... We're basically stoking Bancho's uh, fire for working like this again. Okay, we got 28 golds from that. Stoking? Yeah. Like, it has been a bit since he worked as a chef. So we're, we're basically igniting his passion. Oh, I thought, I thought stoking was the reverse. I thought stoking was killing the fire. No, that's extinguishing or choking the flame. Anyway. Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> Man should not feel gratification, uh, gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Now, what was that about Cobra and a package? Or whatever? I am Lucio. Oh, I think we get to see now. Uh. Well, they're dead. <laughs> I, I, I like that it was just poking around to see if there even was anything there. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, hello. Ellie? Hmm? Are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study bio biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anom anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. 
I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Hmm. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. Uh, re rewards? And hello, Marco, again. Yeah, you miss Sonic, and <laughs> it, it turned out into quite the fun little experience at the end. That's Oh, damn it, pizza lover! Damn you! <laughs> what? Read what he said. Why, hello there, Mark. What? And you accidentally did the meme! <laughs> Think about it. A meme that you someone says that. For yeah, a but... very bad movie. Not entirely sure if it would be called uh, really that bad, but more bad compared to the others. But typically, hello there goes is followed up by you know, Gen or General Kenobi. It comes either before or after. I forget at the oh, moment. I mean, I mean they, they, they just they gave a long hair to go, oh, hello there, Mark. Oh. After <laughs> slamming a door. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what it's called, and I don't really have the mental <laughs> wants to remember the name either, but the supposedly worst game movie ever or something. Uh... Yeah, Mark, Marco is doing it. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> yeah, it's the room, okay. Oh, was, oh hi, Mark. Okay, I misremembered, but I, when I read this message, that was the voice I heard in my head. Hmm. Uh... <clears throat> Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Okay. Well, yes. For some reason, I thought, I thought you were supposed to be his girlfriend from a short moment. <laughs> Let's see. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Game settings can be accessed from the phone. Okay. Uh, let's see, that is this button. Let's see. Okay, we've got some blocked off ones. We... Okay, we could call Cobra or Boncho. Cobra is right next to us, though. We've got the calendar, we've got mail. Uh, let's see, get a 10% discount and get going. Monbo Air. Number one, best diving spots, Thistlegorm. Movie news, Attack of the Mutants something. You want to be rich? The weather, music, uh, mini games, calculator. So, sometimes you have to say, Blue House is often so known for monsters, or this claim to have monsters in them. Yeah. In them, I mean, either. Okay. I blame you for me for butchering English today. Yeah, the place is different now. Okay. Let's see what there's. Oh, I noticed the thing about sea life I learned today. This is about squids! Or octopus, Can you hear me? I mean. Do you wanna know what octopus sometimes do for fun? Uh, what then? Punch fish. <laughs> okay. I'm not oh, kidding, oh, I saw the video where the octopus just went up and uh, punched the fish in the face! A sleepy toy hammer? A rubber hammer toy? It doesn't do much damage, but it will sometimes put fish to sleep. Okay, I'm just taking that for the for the joke of it. Uh, why do you just have the mad idea to try it on you? No, I would be disturbed if it somehow worked. Let's see. But then again, if you do get good sleep from me whacking you with that toy hammer, oh, then this like, one's a fighter. A okay, some of them will fight us. Okay, Rainbow Rass. I barely missed him. Come here, little small fry. Cardinal fish. Okay, take two. I know where to do. Was that a. Yeah, doesn't matter. We got fish. We get more fish. Oh, hello there. Uh, yep, miss. You're new, and you're mine. Orbicular, or, orbicular batfish? Oh no. Thank you for the mental 
baseball bat. What? Yeah, it's not just going to be fishing that we'll be doing. There oh, is uh, more. I'm a widow bossless. Got a, a bit spoiled from A from Dale. Okay, puffer fish can't be speared while they're puffed up. Oh. Okay, is our spear not strong enough or something? Don't let me bro! Hmm. Yeah, I think you need a bit of spear. Or harpoon. Another little cardinal. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go to about 30 meters of depth at the moment. Because our the depth meter was flashing. We're starting to flash. Up. Missed. Uh, hmm. uh, Let's see. I should see about go. I should see about going to uh, a sushi restaurant again sometime. Do my favor and don't go to sushi bar next to a blue hole. <laughs> Black spot sea bream. Completely missed. You can you say that again? Sea bream. Black spot sea bream. All right. For what you said, Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I also thought. There's no way in hit they had named a fish off for Xbox. I must have misheard. Miss. Okay, hello again, Dory. Remember me? Okay. Getting close to the maximum amount of fish. Or maximum weight of fish. Oop, running out of air. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, we still got a good amount. It's, uh, not a, it's not exactly seconds. So, oh, if you exceed your weight limit, it will slow you. You will slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry any more. Okay. Well, we have okay. enough, and we're close enough. Okay. Yeah, this this will be interesting. We might have to do a bit of grind every now and then to fill up our the sushi yeah, the, the the bar the restaurant's uh, stores. But for the most part, this could be pretty fun. Oh yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, kind of funny. See. We've been this year finding two new Fisher games that have been excellent. First, yeah. Uh, what's it Dredge. Italian? Dredge. Dredge? I know. David the Diver. Uh, uh, let's uh, see. Chad has moved on a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, pizza. Yeah, no, I say why hello there, username. I'm not doing a meme, lol. Pizza, I know it from the top of my head since Anna used, uh, uses that when I join her stream. Oh, Anna who? And, uh, wait, she says Anna that? Connor? Someone you two know, but I don't. Uh, I genuinely never noticed, Mark. Captain, we are broke. <laughs> no, not broke. We are in debt by 72 coins. Uh, oh, she says, oh, hi, Mark. And, oh, she, uh, she, I don't think, usually says that. Plus, I don't think she's making a funny, uh, a funny. Plus, she says that to every new person, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> Mark, fuck it. I'm making my brother buy me this game. Oh, by the way, Mark, guess what? Uh, it's a harpoon. Yes, question mark. I finished Super Mario Bros. Fury. I just need to 100% it now. And I got only 10 cat shrines to collect to 100% the game. <clears throat> nice. Uh, Kevin, did you get confused with all the fishing? Uh, Anna is a very great streamer friend of mine. We've been friends for about two years. Okay, feel free to link them on... Uh, feel free to put a link to their channel in the chat. Okay. All right. Uh, let's. Oh. Mm. Dave, get you, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Mm. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. 
Hmm. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. We haven't seen them get violent yet, except for maybe the puffer, but it was more just, well, the fish version of beating its chest. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Oh, Duff? Uh, well, Cobra, it's been a while. Who is the goofy-looking guy next to you? <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't the nicest uh, thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior, prior knowledge. You're not one to talk about shape much, uh, Duff. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> People who live in glass houses. Mm -hmm. So what's this about? I'd li like you to get straight to the point. Hello. I've begun a very interesting business. Hello. And now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Hello. Mm, season 2 of Strass Tell uh, just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Hello. Okay. Alright. I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology, ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Hello. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. Okay. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm. That is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this Master Dove. <laughs> now, I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. <laughs> Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. <laughs> you heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. <laughs> okay. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Let's keep that in always keep that in mind. Okay. So we could do just deep dives where we just try to get one thing done or something. Oh, that's what Mog said we're in depth. Yeah, up in the lower uh, up lower upper left. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now where will I'm guessing these crates and every the, the crates that we found could be explained by the the ship that was the, the fuck it fried egg jellyfish. Okay. Yeah, th those crates can be explained as from being from that delivery boat. Woods and okay, there's the stuff that we need to collect for things and <laughs> is lined out in reds. Isn't that... that's Wait, not a... okay. Did they accidentally make a shackle? Uh, what? Did you almost laugh for me for accidentally burping? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I'm guessing these are too strong for us to catch at the moment. Okay, then we'll just get this. Oh, hello, there's some fish here. Are those eels? Of sorts, maybe. Are they, oh, are they shrimp? Let me catch you. Those are huge oh. shrimps. Looks like we can't catch them. Or my aim is just terrible. Hmm. Hello. Okay. You don't hunt shrimps with a harpoon. Have you ever use a special net to catch them? Yeah. Well, this one's a fighter. Lagoon Triggerfish. Triggerfish? Nope. Black Spot Sea Bream? Oh, 40 is... 40 is as deep as we can go. Okay, give me these. There. Yeah, we needed that. Now we would need... There. A, a starfish? Or some kind? Yep. Okay. There. Say Murray. Hello, Murray. Oh, oh, oh. 
you did know the same thing, you? Nope. And okay, it, we can't harpoon it. Um, not sure if I'd want to eat it. More eel sushi. I'm not sure if we can eat them. Yeah, that's a lot of screen shake on that, actually. It might be a bit much. Yeah, I might... Um... Okay, I'll need to get back to the boat to change that up. Okay. Give me that. Yeah, I can't grab them. Or spear them. Gentlemen yep. in chat. Be aware that I can see you both. There. <laughs> the Dories keep forgetting that I'm here. And uh, there. Okay, let's refill. Okay, that doesn't fill to max. I'm, I'm believing it's more of a percentage at the moment there. And there. Okay, some more iron. And what is this here? Copper ore. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, and we have... Okay, we need to head back. First, let's take one, a peek in this. One of the old methods to get a copper of many uh, uh, methods was to throw a net at the bottom of a lake and just drag it and you got copper sometimes. Let's see, you're stumbling over your words today, aren't you, Captain? When am I not? Uh, mm -hmm. A baseball bat? At a lower depth, you lose more oxygen, yep. Oh, and Mark, Drakir finally managed to call me, <laughs> to not call me Pizza Boy. He almost called me that by accident. He does the same thing with me where he might say Polo. <laughs> oh shit, just smile and wave, boys, just smile and wave. Uh. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Jackass. Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's weapon shop on your phone. It's well optimized, only 42 megabytes, you could say. I want to make a I wanted to make a joke there about it taking up a lot less space than him. <laughs> but I'm not going to be that mean. Okay. Oh good gods. <laughs> Look at this laptop. Okay, I, I see a phase in there, but I do not see what the rest is supposed to be. Let's see, you've collected all the materials, good. Let's try it's, and create a new weapon. It's a very stereotypical... Utaku. Hold it. <laughs> Let's equip that. Uh, I, I was half expecting the entire magical girl transformation or something. <laughs> this defeats a lover. <laughs> We're asking the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I confess, it could have been way worse. Yeah. And it could have been so much worse. Okay, and those three things next to his uh, totally not Coca-Cola cup are supposed to be bullets. They look more like whistles. Okay. Those are whistle bullets. You shoot them, and a whistle. <laughs> With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've even taken some measurements to allow you to open weapon chests in the water. Wow, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. 
Weapons made with the blueprints won't break underwater, you could say. That's going to be his thing, isn't it? You could say. Yeah. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity? What? Uh, <laughs> complete the gun tutorial. <laughs> okay. You can craft weapons at Dove's weapon shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint. Making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with powerful weapons. Weapons can be crafted multiple times. Okay, probably to upgrade them. Oh, hello, Ellie. Hm, he actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. Okay, Isabella. Because she, she sounds a bit like a... <laughs> She sounds like an Animal Crossing character. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me you know, do my research. The sudden e uh, ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Nope. Oh, we got some olive oil and soy sauce from that. I I've been using soy sauce to liven up some other things, like uh, pastas. Yes, yeah, you buy some soy sauce again as well before. I've been wanting to spice up my uh, noodles. Yeah, they, they work well with stuff that absorbs yeah, fluids and such. Okay, we got 11 fish. We've got uh, a yellow back Felicier, uh, 40 centimeters. Okay. At the third mark. What happened? I had to pretend to be asleep after I sent the last message. My dad told me to go to sleep, but I can't. Uh, Mark, do you remember the pic I sent you? Uh, you, bas you basically missed off what was half a magical girl transformation being done by a sizable otaku, you could say. Yeah, I guess, it, I guess you could call it a transformation <laughs> fake out. Yeah. Okay, so the. Okay. We can. We'll find materials. We'll find fish, and we'll find other cooking ingredients. So I, how would you even? Okay, I'm guessing that isn't coral because I'm pretty sure just breaking coral would be illegal. Uh, wrap up your day in something. Ellie has been added as a contact. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing there will be other really places we can go eventually. Uh, what should I say this, sir? But. They have found water on the southern side of the moon. Frozen water, but still water. Let's see. Um, we've got a good amount of fish. Rainbow Rase Sushi. Uh, let's see. We've got a lot of these. Let's see. We should have some sushis that are a bit more pricey. Uh... Let's see. Seven, seven... Okay, that's a good one that we also have a lot of. So that is definitely going on. What is the number... Of, what is the smiley face next to it? How much people will like it? Let's see. Oh. Circular uh, bats... Uh, bat, circular bats batfish fry. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, let's do the clownfish again. And let's see. 663? Six, six, hmm. Might want to rethink the. Let's swap this one out since it's really cheap. Hmm. Okay, we can we can leave the we can use the blue tang as our filler, so to speak. Uh yep. Yeah. Replaced. And let's see. And yeah, we can just have a few that have less fish of it. We just gotta hope that people don't really <clears throat> don't really order these too much. Uh, yeah, don't eat gas station sushi. What? That's going to re that's going to taste like a. That's going to taste like something not good. It's okay, we can sell these as well when we have a lot. I did not even know they sell sushi at gas station. Just... Hmm. What the heck? Let's see. 
Agar is a genus of phalloid red algae. It's used to make sugar agar. Okay. And then we have oh, soy sauce. Do you want to read that uh, message from Marco there? Well, let's see. I ate it to try sushi for the first time and it was delicious, but it gave me the... yeah. Uh, I'll say it simply then. If, if you thought that was delicious, try a professional restaurant sushi and it'll blow it out the water. I, I occasionally get a bit of store sushi from one of the two big supermarkets here. Uh, often I try to get them on discounts because one of them, all the sushi goes 50% off after 8 p.m. Uh, but yeah, the, the the professionals just make it the best. Why? Why the heck? When you said Dutch supermarket, my brain instantly went to the Dutch trading company. <laughs> uh, let's see. The picture I sent you, the one with the cat ass. What? Okay, now it wasn't a cat ass. These guys are gonna think something else. After we watch the, <laughs> the stream on Twitch. You could also look up the VOD after the stream for the Sonic part. Uh, but there is a place in the uh, game where there is a shit ton of cats. And well, let's just say I might be able to make a cat army. Oh, you're talking about uh, Bowser's Fury, I'm guessing. Okay, let's double check. There's a bunch of stuff here that isn't open. No, unlock it. Actually, I think... I think I'm going to remove... I'm not going to take something that's only two items on them. Let's go there. It's a... Just in case people can order stuff that isn't on the menu anymore. And here we go. Alright. Oh, there was something in the water again. Oh. I keep missing... I saw something there, but it got hidden by a order. Okay, I see. I think. Oh. Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope your customers keep coming. Okay, that's our first big mission done then. Okay. A bap. Okay, I... Hmm. Now I need to figure out how that really works still. Okay. Sorry about the bad poor miss. Oops, someone really liked it. While he's doing that, we fill up. On that. There we go. Wasabi. <laughs> oh, good gods. Yeah, wasabi, wasabi is good in small amounts. I feel like I've seen someone do a prank where they replace to toothpaste with wasabi. Uh. There we go. And we got 55 extra. Okay. Uh, revenue of 30. Net profit of 57. Uh, let's see. Operation, pay, maintenance, cooking. Okay. Oh, that's the revenue that that ingredient gave, uh, brought up. The blue tank sushi. Okay. I'm, I'm enjoying the game so far. I, I presume there's going to be some times where it's going to be a bit grindy, but oh well. Yeah, okay. I'm a bit it as well. Uh, oh, hey, it's a cops. Get out. <laughs> Oop. Dr. Bacon? Uh, I think you're in the wrong type of game. <laughs> Are you Dave by any chance? No. Yes, what is it, sir? Well, I'm always right about these things. <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? <laughs> I'll explain it to you. 
Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Yep. Yeah, you might want to check your jaw there, dude. It's looking a bit unhinged. <laughs> um, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Nope. Uh, the Sea People of Civilization lives in legends. They are said to have... Uh, they worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live on the water. They live in the uh, depths, allowing uh, lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern. Wow. With it. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. Wow. That's about all there is to the story. Uh, I thought he was going to talk about a different kind of sea people, like the boat yeah. people. Yeah, this will be the wrong location for <coughs> <coughs> the sea people that are over history are still unknown and in raided Mediterranean. <clears throat> yeah, basically sea, re sea, sea raiders, but... And uh, I just noticed, but uh, check the the roof of the <laughs> of the sushi place. Um, what am I supposed to look at? The fact that the signs have fallen out of place as well. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, let me check chat for a bit. Uh, talk about Time Bowser's Fury. We are talking about Time Bowser's Fury. I haven't played this game, but I want, <laughs> but I want to so bad. Dave's face when he said, "Maybe I shouldn't have asked." Yeah. <laughs> you misread. Yeah, Dave's face when he said, "Maybe I shouldn't have asked." Yeah. Pizza lover said Fury. Malted furry. <laughs> Uh, everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you just so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed, an, analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it was from no known civilization. Oh. It dated around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Oh. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Oh. Well, you see, my assist assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good while. <laughs> he got arrested oh. for crypto scams. That's why I'd like you to help me. Yeah. Oh. oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. Mm. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can... <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Oh. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so, yeah. yeah. But we don't have time to swim around looking, searching for artifacts. Oh. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm. It's already falling apart. It doesn't need to burst. <laughs> um, <laughs> I suppose we have a point. <laughs> All right, I'll help. <laughs> Isn't that lucky? Or of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Okay. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. Oh, yeah, yeah. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? <laughs> Worthwhile lean. Let's install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. Yeah. Okay, let's see. From Dark what? Did I hear seriously? <laughs> Uh, Marco, I can see. The sprite work is perfect. Dr. Bacon, please shut up and let me dive so I'm able to get fish for my sushi restaurant. <laughs> yeah, it's a very uh, dark one. <clears throat> the iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment. <clears throat> Pardon? Upgrade equipment with the money you make with the sushi bar and elsewhere and explore deeper waters. Okay. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Okay, iDiver. Okay, upgrade the diving suit for free. Okay, depth limits to 80 meters from 40. That's a big jump. Yep. A diving suit that maintains Dave's temperature on the water. Upgrades make... 
Up oh, upgrades make Dave less visible to fish. Okay, that's also useful. Okay. <laughs> Stealth mode engage. Okay. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use Eye Diver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. I gotta turn on the room play, but I think the darkness in my room is making me sleepy, for I am misreading and mishearing a lot of what you said. Death dive. <laughs> Okay, I like that the game is combining uh, 2D pixel work with 3D models. Yeah, I like that too. It's very charming. And yeah, now now more I can see the signs falling off. I can okay. see that too now when it's a bit more... Oh, I don't know. Bright. Yeah, the, the fish are also somewhat 3D-ish. They're mixed between pixel and 3D. Okay. Pardon. It gas apparently. Oh, there's a seahorse there. Can we fish you? If I can hit you first. Okay, we you can. You don't hunt a seahorse with a harpoon. It, 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 it's like throwing a, a spear at a mouse. Sure, we hit it, but probably not much remaining after that. Hmm. Seems we started with a similar start. Our first area here. Uh, shock bang stick. Okay. It's a electrical. Hmm. Actually, can we? Hmm. Oh, oh, these are angry. Can we fish you? No, we cannot. Okay, but we can... We can get you that way. Fish. Escape pods. Oh, ink. Oh, I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. Okay. Oh, that's a big boy. A big angy boy. Okay, yeah, we, we can just beat them up and then grab them that way. Tagging trigger fish or tiger fish. Some soy sauce, I'll take that. Okay, can we grab any of you? No, okay. Okay, you have 15 health ish. Macro scab? Okay, yeah, these fish are too strong at the moment. We can... Oh, you have a lot of health. Come back here, you. I want you... There we go. Dusky grouper. Oh, oh, that's too heavy. Uh, can we dump out some of these? See tight. Uh, oh, nine kilograms of one fish. Okay. Hmm. I I'm guessing when they're dead like that, they might be something else. Uh, they might be worthless or something. Um. Let's go try out that escape pod thing. Yeah, I think you need it. And then we can use our other time slots. To go fit to go dive uh, yeah, diving deeper without grabbing as much fish. Uh, oh. Some rope from uh, Darko. Darko. Marco, when you get hit, you lose good amount of oxygen. Okay. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first, as the calling process takes some time. Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oop, depressurizing, which is a very... Yeah, depressurizing is something you really want to do, because if you go up too fast, then uh, your body is not going to be happy with you. Uh, oh, Marco, I said 
Dark O oh, D. As in dark, not Varko. I was saying uh, I called you Darko due to I was almost saying Dark One again. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, I just noticed Dave gives the thumbs up to Boncho and Boncho returns it. <laughs> he can see really far despite those glasses of his. <clears throat> up. Dave, while you were out at sea, the repairs were completed. You're you're out here at sea as well. You, oh. We can't call me out at sea when you're right here next to me. <laughs> Let's head to the restaurant. <laughs> oh, and we get skipped. Okay. But yeah, I see how this can go. We, we fish around to restock. Uh, there we go. To restock things. Um, oh, this looks very nice. It doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can be a mess. <laughs> if you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open, so check it. So please check it. You can freely change up the interior of Bancho Sushi, use the interior tab to select the style to your liking. Okay. Ah, but... As Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, but... This area is kind of remote, so I think I will need a way to advertise the store until then. Mm. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Mm. Uh, have you tried the social media app called Cookstar? <laughs> really? <laughs> you mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Mm. Mm. Even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Boncho? Mm. You have a point there. Mm. Making a count is simple, so let's try it out. Mm. Your first register and make the hashtag, ha uh, hashtag Boncho Sushi, then done. Hmm. Well, it's not as complicated as I, expect, as I expected. Mm -hmm. Now, customers happy with your food will follow Bancho Sushi. I see. Hmm. I'm not sure about this, but okay, I got it. Okay. I'll also install the Cookstar app on my phone and check the uh, followers' posts. Okay, so here is basically where we can see reviews and such. Uh, oh. Raise your rating in Cookstar. There's Insta, Instagram, Cookstar. More customers will visit and new foods will be unlocked. The unlock conditions of new ratings can be seen in the Cookstar app. Okay. Now, for the menu... We... Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, yeah, all of the fish that we put in... Uh, yeah, all of the fish that we put in for a night get used up. So... Yeah, we had we had a lot of fish, but all of it's been thrown out now. Okay, that is a bit bad since we have only a few amount of these. Yeah, that basically means we need to be careful over how much we grab. Like we need to grab just enough, not too much. Yeah, we need to not put as much on this on the menu. So, yeah, last one, the Titan Triggerfish. Okay, hopefully people won't or won't be able to order above the amount that we have of this. So, one lucky person is going to get the Dusky Grouper, and one lucky person is going to get the Titan Triggerfish. The rest will have to quote-unquote do with the Yellow Tang and Circular Bat. Okay. Uh... Let's see, red lionfish. A fish measured at around 47 centimeters with many poisonous spines resembling the mane of a lion and patterns similar to that of a zebra. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Right, so let's take a look here. Okay, some of these we do need to buy. An Oriental modern. Normal wood. Let's go with... Oriental Modern. The chairs we can leave as is for now. Ceiling, speaker, light. Hmm. 
a, a photo of the tree. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, apply. Okay, there we go. Also, can we pet the kitty? Momo. Who is that mama? <laughs> uh, things are looking good. Yep, we saw that. Okay, then. Uh, okay. And see. It. Oh, wait. Oh, we can still. We can still go out. Yeah, you can do it in the morning and afternoon. Okay, I I, I thought our time stop. I, I thought we were going to get skipped past the second dive. And yeah, we're about to hit two hours, so let's go down one more time and, and grab ourselves a bunch of fish. Eaten. Yeah. And yeah, it is more two and a half D or two point five D. Okay, we need a lot of fish to fill out the the menu. Oh, hello. Is it us? Huh? A dolphin? Hmm. It seems to be asking me to follow. Should I try and follow? A dolphin's request. I'd love to fall I'd love to, Flipper, but we need we need fish. I think you meant to follow the it uh, at this time since it's the first time. So you probably need to follow it. Yeah, I'll just try to I, I'll try to get as many fish as I can along the way. Miss. Bill, don't be greedy. Uh, we need more fish for the menu. Otherwise, people are going to be left with, well, seaweed and rice. Oh, what is that? Ammo? Ammo box. Okay. We haven't actually gotten a, an intro on how to use the, uh, the rifle yet. There. I think we see they, 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 have, they have led you to something there. There's an oxygen oh, tank. Not... It's a weapon crate. Let me go grab that. Even if it's just for a blueprint. Oh, gun enhancement kits. Okay. Oh, hello there. You're probably too tough. Yes, you are. Weirdly enough. Oh, oh, there's a there's another dolphin stuck in a net here. Okay, just fill up that. Oh, a pink dolphin is caught in the net. So we're asking me to rescue its friends. I should cut that net. Okay. Oh. I probably try and be a bit more accurate than just slashing randomly at it. <laughs> is that supposed to be your daughter or something? It's smaller. Or a thing. Rare but a thing. Nope. Did they leave a thing here behind for us? It seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. <laughs> Let's see. A pearl. Okay. A fragment of something. Okay. Give me what's ever in here. Uh, uh, okay. The game got unselected. On the oh, on the water scooter. Uh, uh. What is that plant? Ammo box. Let's see. I need to find. Uh, Uh, kind of didn't want to bring that along. Actually, can I dump it out? Uh, yeah. Okay, we can get a lot more fish for that amount of weight. 
just going to bully the clowns for a bit. And the yellow tanks. Yeah, I'm, I need to make sure not to put too many fish up on the menu. So we can have spares for other days. Okay. Marco, who trapped Lara? Okay. And from Pizza Dog? Pizza dough? <laughs> okay. I said dog. Right, from Pizza Lover. There we go. Just five more cat shrines left till I have 100% Mario. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I okay. am sad to report to you all that Pizza Lover has become a crazy cat person. Nothing wrong with cats. But you should not, probably not have a hundred cats in your house. Yeah. <laughs> there. Okay, we're starting to get to our limits. Near you. Just a little bit more. And then tomorrow we can, or tomorrow slash next time, we can work on getting, you know, on finding an artifact. Oh, I, I'm, I'm all for playing this tomorrow in the evening. Okay. Oh, and there's the stream timer. So like, let me see if I can get one of these. Either this or L.A. Noir. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, return to the boats. Marco, how many cats do you own or adopt or whatever people use as term nowadays? Okay. Let's put them all in the fish tank. It's already evening. I feel stiff. Even so, Boncho is working alone. I should probably help. It's not easy to manage with two people uh, with more customers coming in. Yeah. Yeah, we we need more workers. Yep, wrap, yeah, let's get things ready at Boncho. Let's see, we can actually check. Okay. Uh, wait, we can <laughs> we can paint the, our boats. Okay. All right. What's the what did the boats name? Nodem. I if it was, I didn't see, and that was a falling star there. Uh, health inspection. Uh oh. And looks around. This is Boncho Sushi Place, huh? Hmm. Or a reviewer? Miss Yoshi? I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cooksta. The name gave me pause, but to think it's really your place. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste uh, this anywhere else. A tactic turn, but muscular chef. <laughs> well, do they mention me too? No, not really. In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. There's history here. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again, that incident? That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way? To keep making that terrible food. What do you mean, terrible? Whole roasted, <laughs> whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. All right. Um. Shark can be used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea it was even used in ancient rituals. Stop! You've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I came. Fine then, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. <laughs> Bancho, isn't this development a bit sudden? 
Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Back? Please get me a... <laughs> man? Back? You said back. I think you meant back. <laughs> Please get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. Mm. You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Mm -hmm. Yes, with your skills, it should be easy enough to do. But a harpoon is not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you into battle. Oh. Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say you'll just stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? The white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. Good luck. He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head? This is preposterous. And it can only be killed by with a gun? I'll have to ask Duff to make me a gun. Or search for one in the blue hole. We already got one. Okay. New content, special customer. Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want through research and serve them to the customers. Okay. Research. You can now research new recipes. Use the artisan's flame to expand your menu. Oh, that ought to work. <laughs> All right. That's a reference. Uh, let's see. Uh, save. Yep, auto saves. Plenty of auto saves. Okay. Yeah, I I'm really liking the game so far. And also, I recommend to not eat shark meat. The bigger the shark is, the less healthy it is for you to eat. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, th th this is going to be fun. I expect that we'll have to grind at some points. Uh, I might do those off stream, but I'll try to avoid having to do that. For now, though, let's head on over here. And we go to look for someone to raid. So bring up the browser. Change the screen share. Browser? The browser. <laughs> the browser's fury. <laughs> uh, that would be interesting. <laughs> it, it, Mario, but uh, it's uh, Racket Ralph. <laughs> yeah, and yes, I know he said the browser, but I just could not resist. Uh, let's see. Well, man, it was fun being here and chilling with you guys. Hope to see you soon. Okay, see you next time. Uh, see you next time, uh, Pizza. And I see the Twitch link there. The Siren Ivy. Let's see. Are they online, perhaps? Probably Be not. Safe, uh, pizza. And see you next time. Okay. Belly dancer, animal lover, witchy nerd. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep an eye on them then. But they aren't online, so let's have a look. We have Reef the Leaf, who is still streaming Breath of Fire 2. Nico Zilverado, who is streaming Axo Primal. Intro VT with Overwatch 2, or basically Overwatch with a, a bit of spit polish. Lazarus with Final Fantasy XIV. Corridust with Escape the Backrooms. Halloween with Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. Third Scaly Tail is online, haven't seen them in a bit, I think, with Wild Frost. Uh, the place is muted, so I can take a peek. Uh, okay, it's a card game. Uh, it's one... It's... Hmm. Probably one of those roguelike car battlers or something. And Maybe. let's see, last but not least, we have WBPL76 uh, uh, with Mech Warrior Online. And oh, hello. Uh, in the recommended, there is Impossibles, who is also streaming Dave the Diver. Should we raid them? Uh, let me take a peek to see if they're. They are likely further ahead than us. Um, let's see. Oh, my big bad idea then, so that it would be spo oh. Yeah, it's spoiler! It's spoiler! Okay. Um, let's see. Any of these that sound interesting to you? Halloween or... Cora? The Explorer? No. Cora Dust. What are you talking to Dust? Shame on you. Well, yeah, we can we can raid them as well. Okay. So, yeah, think... Halloween or Cora? I'd say... Um... 
I'd say Korab. I, I think we rated them somewhat recently, but they're not our last of them. And yeah, Shadow of Stalker. Oh, this Halloween is at the end of uh, the game, I think, or at least from what oh. I remember. Maybe it's bad to rate them then. Yeah, I got close to the end of Shadow of Chernobyl, but I just couldn't get past a certain point because there's a time limited, uh, you know, a time limited thing uh, where you have to fight through a bunch of enemies, and while well, I I just wasn't uh, <clears throat> I just wasn't equipped well enough to deal with that. And okay, uh, da -da -da. yeah, they usually stream around this time. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, let's, let's actually see. Mark has some suggestions. Bonic draws and empathize. Let's give the latter a try. Empath 1z. Okay, they're streaming Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I still need to start with that game, but it's it's a, a Dark Souls-like. But... Hmm, I forget the specifics of it. Okay, Cora Dust or them? Let's... Hmm. I'm not sure. Gates one or Cora? Uh, uh, we, we've raided Korra somewhat recently, so let's go check out someone new. Okay, right. slash raid and paste. And yeah, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah. Thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Pizza Lover, thank you Marco, and again Sensei lurking in the chat. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. Now, tomorrow... Uh, uh, Okay, my, I need to fix my icons because the screen got resized to 1920 by 1080 earlier. My icons on my monitor have moved, have been moved about. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow we will have a Showcase Sunday, trying out some games for later, or just to show them off for a bit. And uh, yeah, in the evening we can continue with this game or LA Noir if Rom would be up for it. Yay! <laughs> okay, for now... Let's start that raid. Okay, not blocked. <clears throat> Pardon. And uh, no yeah. Uh, until next time, everyone. Thank you all again. And until then, have a nice day. And until then, I think I've said that thrice now. <laughs> you see, everyone, watch out for zombie seagulls. And uh, angry and fish. <laughs> uh, wait, what? And angry fish. <laughs> And Angry Flying Fish. <laughs> the unwanted sequel to <laughs> Angry Birds. Stream Deck. Stream Deck. Huh. Why can I say that?